The Computer Science Department at San Diego State University invites you to explore SDSU. Let us tell you about fields of study in computer science, careers you might pursue, skills you need to succeed, how to plan your CS degree, we'll highlight rich areas of current research, tell you how to get involved, and where to get help. It's a great time to study computer science as it applies to so many different fields right now. Software engineering is the study of designing architecture, systems, security, and the use of data. Entry in this field usually begins as a junior member of a software development team. Software developers, also known as programmers or software engineers, build applications, system software, database development, and user interfaces. The administrators put together the company's systems and software right down to the wiring sometimes. They're often called the IT department or industrial technology group because they help everyone work in the optimal environment. Support engineering involves the platforms, security, safety, quality, distribution, and training. Each of these has its specialty and is vital to the success of products and services. Leadership roles are for project leads, managers, program managers, software development managers, all of the people who lead the people. It comes with experience, and it's not for everyone. Sometimes developers just want to be, well, developers. Computer science graduates can expect to enjoy high employability. Graduates will immediately be employable in high technology companies that utilize their computing education. Students who are interested in graduate school will also be prepared to enter graduate programs. Some career choices might include information technology, perhaps in healthcare or business systems like accounting and payroll. There are many places in education, not only teaching but in research. There's big data and data mining. These are huge fields right now as we're able to collect a lot of information. Web development is the user interface and the way that most of us interact over the Internet. There are government positions at every level, federal, state, and local. Security is an important and growing field. There's a lot of abuses of data, and security seeks to protect data and the people who are using it. Embedded systems might be in automotive or aircraft, in communications like cell phones, and healthcare devices. Systems would include operating systems, working on them, developing new ones, and then development tools, things that work with Windows, Linux, and Apple Mac, for example. Services would be the system administrator, the network administrator. These are the people who manage the systems and the software that runs on them. Many computer science graduates begin a career in software development. So what does it take to be a good programmer? A good programmer is someone who has developed strong programming and computer science skills. They really know their craft. They stay current with new advances in technology in their chosen areas of expertise. And they try to learn new ones. A good programmer is collaborative with their team members. Almost all programmers work in team environments now. A programmer needs to be able to sit down and independently work on their individual tasks and develop work that's been assigned to them. A good programmer is a lifelong learner. Technology, as you know, changes so rapidly. A programmer must be someone who is willing and able to learn new technologies and new tools continually. Almost every industry has a software component. Just try to think of one that doesn't. Your options are many. You may find classes that ignite interests along the way and help shape your future. You don't have to know now what field to enter. We'll help you think about where do you want to work at a large company like Microsoft, Facebook, Amazon? Would you like to work in aerospace or with defense contractors? Perhaps your interest lies in healthcare or government. Maybe you're adventurous and would like to work at a small startup company. What types of software would you want to work with? Would you like to do web-based software, large user applications, 
at the system level, software embedded in devices, or be wide open to doing everything. Think about what role you would prefer on a software project. Examples might be the software architect. This is the one who plans how all the pieces are going to work together. You may be the programmer who actually implements all the code. Or the tester, the person that's really going to put this software through its paces and make sure that it meets the demands of the customer. The configuration manager is responsible for all the versions and updates to the software. It's much more than that, but that's a little piece. The quality assurance and tester, these are the people who make sure that the software is reliable and that it's ready to go into production. A very unique thing about San Diego State is that though it is a state school, and they're sometimes thought of as teaching universities, San Diego State is very, very involved in research, and computer science has a lot of different projects going on. For example, let's look at just this one area of artificial intelligence. We can teach you about machine learning and how machines adapt to the information that comes into them. We'll talk about how to solve deduction and constraint problems. There'll be game playing and much more. Dr. Roche's MarLab studies ecology, behavior, and communication in the animal kingdom. The lab also uses machine learning to locate endangered species on the U.S. East Coast. Dr. Liu's Machine Vision and Perception Lab detects objects, much like the person of interest TV show, I think. They also seek to fight fires with unmanned aerial vehicles. Dr. Zeus researches in AI in modeling and communications. Data intensive applications need new architectures to support them. Dr. Z's research looks at near data processing and FNS architecture. Dr. Wang is experimenting with new forms of wireless communication technology. As our world rapidly changes around us, we need new algorithms to keep up with real-life problem solving. The CS department has many ways in which we can support you. We have instructional student aides. These students want to give back to their fellow classmates by sharing their knowledge and their time. Your faculty are here for you. Most faculty teach your classes, unlike some universities where you're taught almost entirely by graduate students. We also have CS advisors to help you choose your classes and to resolve any issues that come up with your scheduling. Other students are here to support you as well. One of the best ways to connect with students outside of class is to join a club. San Diego State literally has hundreds of clubs. Some of the ones that our department have are the ACM Club, which is the official organization for those who are in computer science. We have Megatronics, the Cyber Defense Team, Artificial Intelligence, Game Programming, and Virtual Reality.